Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to do a formula sheet in Excel. Uh, I have Excel opened here, and Excel is a very useful tool for uh, keeping track of information. And you can, you can make a table, and what you see here is a table I've made. This is an imaginary uh, team, let's say it's a basketball team. And here are the players on the team in column A, and column B is the number of games that each player has played and column C is the number of points that each player has scored in total. Um, so that, that's, that, that's fine, and, and we just went through and just typed in the, the names and, 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 and then typed in the games and the points, and it's all just information, but where Excel is really powerful is, enabled, is in being able to do calculations with information. So what we're gonna do is we, I added another column, and it's, and it's gonna calculate the points per game. So what we do is we go into the cell where we want to do some calculations and just the first line, so the first player, and we click on the cell and we type an equal sign. And that's every formula in Excel starts with an equal sign. So uh, what I'll do is I type the equal sign and you'll see that it appears here in the cell. It also appears up here where my cursor is moving in something called the, the formula bar. This is where the formula ap appears, and you can do the editing there, or you can do the editing in the cell. Now, once we're done with the formula, all that's going to appear in the cell is the results of the calculation, but the formula will still appear up here in the formula cell. So, we want to calculate the points per game. So, uh, it's just equals, and you click on the points. So, we're going to click on cell C2, and that, you know, that told Excel that we're, we're we're using the value in cell C2, and then we click on the slash, which is the divided by sign, and then we click on cell B2, which is the number of games, so the points divided by the games is the points per game. And then we hit return, and there's the number. It's 4.3 points per game. Um, and then uh, you can actually, that, now that's 4.3 and a whole bunch of other numbers. We don't need to know the points per game to the ninth decimal point. So the first thing we want to do is go up here, and uh, it may look a little different on your version of Excel, but you'll see something like this where you can decrease the number of decimal places. It just looks a little better, and it's a lot neater table. So let's go down. All we care about is the, you know, the first decimal point, points per game. And so there we have the Sherman's points per game. And now we want to copy that same formula down for all the other players. And the neatest way to do that is to click on the cell, and then coming down until your cursor is a, a solid plus sign. So if you move the cursor around without clicking anything, you can see it's a, an open plus sign, or if you're at the edge of the cell, it's a hand, which means we can drag the cell. But what we want to do is we want it to change to a solid plus sign, click on it, and drag down. And what that does is that copies the formula to all the other cells. So it's a very quick way, instead of, instead of you know, doing what I did on the first formula, tediously on each one, we can very quickly copy the formula to all the other cells. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to do a formula sheet in Excel. Thank you for watching.